you and her both have like inspired me to to do more and want to do better. You know what I mean? I'd like to say you guys have changed my life in a way, in a positive way. You know, like I look up to the both of you like uh, role models. And yeah, thank you for that. Welcome back to the Elevate Everyday Podcast. We've got one of our most badass guests on the podcast for y'all. Um, he was our fitness junkie leader of the third quarter because he's quickly became a very strong leader in our community. Um, he's a he's a veteran. That's why he's got the American flag behind him. And he's got, you know, a story that he's come like very far from, um, you know, honestly, just even since, when I, since I met him, he's come a, a really long way in his growth. But you, you guys... I think you're just going to be inspired by where he's come from and where he's at now. So um, let's go ahead and start with that, Zach. Like, take us back a few years back when you were struggling and kind of battling addiction. Like, kind of just paint us a picture of, of where you were at that at that time. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, just for starters, like, I, I grew up uh, with my dad, and he was a real big alcoholic drug user himself. And, uh, yeah, so when I... I guess got out of the military. That's kind of when it all started because uh, I was hooked on pills from that. Then I got out, kept kept using those and uh, drinking alcohol daily. Okay. And uh, eventually I stopped doing pills and moved on to, uh, to cocaine, actually. And um, going through a lot of problems, really depressed during those times. Mm -hmm. And I myself thought like, hey, man, this is the best way to to deal with my problems by getting drunk and using cocaine to uh, escape them. And in the long run, I'm not even dealing with them. I'm just masking the problems up until I get sober again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, so what, what do you feel like was the turning point for you when you decided to, you know, get sober? Was there anything specific or what, what happened that clicked for you? And you were like, no more, like I'm going to turn right. things around. Well, actually, my girlfriend gave me an ultimatum. Hey, either stop drinking and doing the dumb things or I'm leaving. And that right there was enough. But um, about a month after I got clean and sober, I got a call that uh, my buddy had uh, died using cocaine and it had fentanyl in it. And I think right then and there, that was my biggest turning point on why I should not go back. You yeah. know what I mean? And dealing with that, that, that was, that was, that was really tough. Cause like I said, I drank with him, used it with him and all that stuff. And it's like, holy crap, man, that, that could have potentially been me. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, well, kudos for you for, for climbing out of that. You know, I, a lot of people get stuck in that forever, right? That's, that's the fact of the matter. Yeah, right? for sure. Um, so, so you were strong enough to climb out, right? What, what do you think, you know, maybe for other people struggling with, with things like this. I mean, we don't know. We don't know what people are struggling with that are listening to this, but like, what were some of the steps, you know, obviously besides, you know, you, you had an ultimatum from your girlfriend and you had kind of a wake up call with your friend and everything, but what were some of the steps you took to kind of climb out of that? So first step, I identified the problem. Okay. It's like, well, yeah, I, I got an issue. Okay. What, where are my triggers at? What triggers me? You have to find your triggers. So say I was driving by the, uh, the liquor store daily. All right, bam, find a different route. No, no more driving past it, past it daily. Um, and I think the hardest thing of, about overcoming addiction is the mental, you know what I mean? You, you go so long using, drinking, whatever to where, you know what I mean? Um, you got to stop thinking the way you do pretty much retrain your brain. Like, Hey, you don't need this. It's all in your mind. Just try and eliminate that place in your mind where that thought is. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense at all. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, what, were there anything that you did as far as like, you know, did you join any groups? Did you, um, was there anything specific as far as like, you know, I know a lot of people do AA and things like that. Was there anything specific you did like that? Or was it more um, so you just did it on your own? No, no, no. I, uh, no AA. I want to say I pretty much did it on my own, but shortly after I stopped, maybe five or six months, I did get in contact with you and start working out. And that kind of helped out a whole bunch, not just with uh, my physical appearance and the way I felt about myself, 
but the whole mental aspect as well. I started uh, thinking more clearly. My, uh, I always grew up with real bad anger, and uh, that's helped me express my anger in a different way, either than lashing out to to others. Yeah. No, yeah, man. I, like I said in the beginning of the podcast, like I've even since you started, I've seen so much growth in in just your demeanor and how you deal with your emotions and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I wasn't even one hundred percent sure on what that time period looked like as far as like when you got sober and clean and everything. And then when you started working with me, so it was pretty, pretty close together, you would say, like, how, what was the time gap there? Um, I'm not really too certain. I, Ooh, I don't know, actually. Okay. I couldn't, but what, and what were you doing kind of, you know, so you got, you got sober. Um, what was, what were you doing kind of in between that time and then when you started working with me, as far as like, you know, what were you doing to kind of get fit? Like what, what, what were you up to at that time? Nothing, man. I'd get Nothing. off work, come home mad as can be just because of work <laughs> stressed and stressed out with everything else. I was an overthinker and it's like, holy crap, man, I'm thinking about this, this, that, and the other. It's like one thing yeah. after another is happening rather than yeah. thinking like, Hey, what can I learn from this situation and how can I not let it happen again? Right. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, I think we've, me and Herb have both witnessed you basically, you know, trade old addictions with like positive addictions, right? Like you're, yeah. you're, you're addicted to working out now, right? You're, you're addicted to like eating right. And like, it, you honestly just, you seem addicted to progress. And just like, I, I know that you're, you know, you're a coach yourself now and everything, which is crazy. The time period that that happened, right? You got in incredible shape and now you're helping others. Yeah. Right. Um, and also just like, you know, I feel like you're, <laughs> your social media algorithm has changed. Like I remember you posting weird stuff <laughs> when, when you first came yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> Went from the, dumb memes to, yeah, to everything to, I'm doing just now. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like, now it's like positive gym motivation stuff and everything like that. So it's, it's pretty cool, man. But um, yeah. What, what progress have you seen physically? Like what's, what have kind of been your, your physical progress that you've noticed for yourself? Um, well, I mean, I can actually bend down and put on shoes without my stomach getting in the way. <laughs> I, I think me realizing that, I was like, all right, dude, I got I got to figure something out because this isn't <laughs> this isn't what I want. You know what I mean? And yeah. um, I I don't know my body. Uh, sorry, my body fat percentage. There you go. Uh, it's gone down. Um, I mean, I got muscles again. You know what I mean? Yep. So it's not nice always like kind of looking at looking at myself in the mirror and be like holy crap dude you've come a long way not just physically with it but mentally as well and i i gotta say um you and her both have like inspired me to to do more and want to do better you know what i mean i'd like to say you guys have changed my life in a way in a positive way you know like i look up to the both of you like uh role models and yeah thank you for that I appreciate that, man. That's, that's humbling to hear. So I, I really do appreciate that. Don't take that lightly. So, um, yeah. And then, you know, we'll, we'll put a thumbnail up probably the thumbnail will be, you know, your transformation physically and everything. And it's, it's going to be obvious. Right. But what, what about, you know, and we already touched on it a little bit with, you know, just, um, the anger, like dealing with emotions and then just kind of like, you know, your, your mind just seems like it's shifting more towards positivity, but you know, what else kind of like, mental progress wise have you have you noticed in this time through this transformation i mean i dude i'm no longer thinking negative thoughts you know what i mean i'm I'm waking up always looking for the positive even on my down days i'm i'm not mad i'm happy you know what i mean like yeah. Yeah. going through a rough time like hey i i'm alive and well i'm breathing and uh i'm i'm healthy you know what i mean got a roof over my head food in my stomach i mean really can't complain at that yeah 100 percent. herb what do you got to ask zach you know you know zach you know every time i think of zach it's like my brother from another mother um <laughs> i'm extremely proud of you i've seen in my years i've seen a lot of people go through struggles addictions the whole bit i've had training partners and just to watch you the way you do it, you know, sometimes, Zach, you didn't have good days, brother. Yeah. No, you, no, were, no. you were like, this day just oh. fucking sucks. And but you were <laughs> like, hey, I'll have to try it again tomorrow. That's huge. That's huge. Knowing that you have a tomorrow to fix this. And now let me see that shirt again. Put that shirt up in the camera. <laughs> no, the name on it. I'm going to be able to see that. Yeah. Miller Fitness. Okay. You come in. 
you know, again, I'm, I don't want to label anybody, but there's a lot of victimization about, hey, this happened to me. The universe is trying to kick my ass. Da, da, right. da, da. But you've always looked at everything like, OK, the universe gave me a choice. I can go left. I can go right. You know, and you can I appreciate that you come to Cade and I and say, guys, need some help with this. This is this is pretty tough. Right. Yeah. Because we can't do this on our own. This is stupid. Right. But look what you've done. Now you're an instructor. Now you're a coach. You've got clients on Facebook losing weight. Right. That must make you feel really good, Zach. You're not just it's not just about Zach anymore. It's about Zach and what I can do to help other people. That's huge. Right. You know, um, yeah. I think Cade would say the same thing. I get more. I get more from helping other people than I do from helping myself. Yeah. Right. I'm the exact same way. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's huge. So give me give me an idea what Zach's life looks like five years from now. Um, well, I, I mean, to be honest, I, I'm hoping I'm uh, as successful as you guys and I have a uh, really good testimonies. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I live to help people, you know what I mean? Even when I myself needs help, I, I, I get off on helping others. You know what I mean? I, I love seeing a smile on someone else's face that's made by or from me. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah I was going to say, you know, what Herb said about, you know, we get more joy out of helping others than, than ourselves. It's like, we even kind of had that conversation with you recently, Zach. And it's like, you know, I told you, cause you were like, man, is, has there been, been times where you felt burnt out? Right. And there has been, you know, there's been times where I'm like, why am I even trying to take it to the next level physically? Like I'm in good shape. Like I could just be complacent. I could be right. like, I could be average, right. I could be like normal people. Um, but it's what drives me is that there are people that I'm leading. Right. And so, so you've got that kind of it factor where, where you care about that. And that's, that's going to drive you to continue to be successful in this. So, so that's awesome. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was going to say too, I, I definitely would second what Herb said. There has been times where, <laughs> you know, we've been like, uh oh, Zach's Zach's not in the best mood. Right. But, have, yeah. Have, yeah. yeah I, but but most people, I mean, you know, a lot of people would just like Herb said, you know, they'll they'll let that spiral and they'll let that get them in into the victim mindset, like he mentioned, and, and they'll let them use them use that as an excuse. And you know, the, the fact of the matter is a lot of clients use those excuses with us and then they fall off track for like a long period of time right, right? but you, you you face it head on right and that's that's something i'm i'm hoping and that's like one of the big examples i wanted to make um by like naming you like the fitness junkie of the quarter or whatever and like you know i wanted to make sure to say that when i when i um gave you that award this past quarter because you know i think a lot of people can learn from that right because i think that's a really admirable thing when you are going through challenge like you don't let that be an excuse and you face it head on and you ask for help and then you come out on the other side stronger. So, yeah, I don't know. That's probably the, the biggest thing I've admired from, from working with you. So, so let me ask you, Zach, um, working out, training, eating, sleeping supplements, what's the hardest thing to wrap yourself around and really be consistent in anybody coming into this? What's the hardest thing? Well, I mean, ha having kids and seeing all their junk food, I'd like to say keep my hands off of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's always going to be the food, brother. Yeah, it's yeah. it's difficult at times. <laughs> yeah. What What's your advice for, you know, others maybe in their fitness journey right now and they're struggling or they're thinking about starting their fitness journey right now? What, what would be your advice for people um, listening? Well, I can say from my own personal experience, when I first started, I was like, man, do you do I want to make the, take this risk? You know what I mean? And I got to say, I've never really taken a risk solely on myself. Mm. And sure. when I did, it was the best, it was the best feeling in the world. You know what I mean? So I yeah. just take risks, you know what I mean? Like, cause yeah. everyone, everyone's like, Oh, well, what if it doesn't work out? Yeah. But what if it does, you know what I mean? Yeah. So take risks, yeah. Yeah. learn yeah. from it. If you fail and go back 10 times stronger the next time. You know, my one of my coaches said this to me, and I like the saying that, that, you know, failing will lead to success, but excuses never lead to success. Right. You know, so if you're, man, another bad day. OK, one day closer. Right. Right. I mean, you know, again, we just had an election and look at the people that are involved now. Elon Musk and guys like that that just don't give up. I hope he inspires other people. <laughs> it's like, what is this guy doing running three co companies and doing this, too? You right. can do it if you just put your mind to it. Anything. 
So for me to say to you, can you give me three hours a week getting into the gym? Well, yeah, I think I can do that. Right. Okay. But you got to start somewhere. So what's the first thing somebody should do, Zach? I want to I want to stop my addiction. I want to get into fitness. I don't like what I see in the mirror. What's the first thing I should do? Um, Walk me through it. And again, this I, is not written in stone. Well, but... for, for me, dude, I, I had a exceptional role model as what not to be. <laughs> I had one of those. And sadly, I fell down the exact same path as the person I, I, I didn't like. You know what I mean? And it's like, dude, I'm I'm. I'm going absolutely nowhere with my life. I, I, I continue to do the same mistakes, fall into the same old healthy habits and routines. What in the heck am I going to do to change? You know what I mean? So just have hope, have faith, and do what you think you need to do to be successful or stop addiction. You know what I mean? No, 100%. And, and again, like I said, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud that you're a friend of mine. Because this is the kind of thing, when you tell somebody a story like this, they just, really? And and, and Zach, you don't know, I'm, I'm going to guess, you don't know anybody else that's done what you've done. You got any friends that have done what you've done? Um, No. I mean, no, no, no I, I no. think out of the friend group, I no. had the, the and, worst upbringing and yeah. <laughs> everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not a normal dude. <laughs> you know, I don't even think you're one in a hundred. It's probably one in a thousand. Right. And I'm not blowing smoke up your skirt. I'm just saying, here's the problem. You went from victim to being a leader. Now people are going to look for you. Right. There's right. going to be that, there's going to be those those haters that are waiting for you to fail. Right. That are still taking notes and trying to yeah. copy you. <laughs> right? You're going to have your supporters that are like, just tell me what you need me to do. Zach. Right. It, it, again, the world's the, the world's your it's your oyster, brother. It's yours. Whatever you want, you've just proven you can do it with the right information the right team behind you. Congratulations, Zach. I mean, that's huge. Thank you. Awesome, man. Well, we know what you're going to be up to in the next five years, right? And we appreciate that compliment that you paid to us for that. But <laughs> what, what is what does 2025 look like for you? What's what's ahead of fitness goals, goals for Zach? What do you, what are you wanting to accomplish this year? <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, in 2025, I would love to sit there and uh, sit down with you guys one of these days. And be like, hey, I, I quit my job today and I'm going to start doing this full time. You know what I mean? I, like, I yeah. would love to do that. It's but, uh, I mean, I'd love to do that, start actually doing this as my full-time in income. And then um, I wouldn't mind uh, going or getting into a, a show, you know what I mean? A bodybuilding show or something like that. There you well, go. Cade, Cade and I have been putting our finger on a few people for a good team. <laughs> Young ladies, a couple guys like yourself. Yeah, I think I think we could do this and show people you can still get in shape and have fun. Right. And like you said, let's just do it for fun. It doesn't matter where you land or anything like that. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, like, I have no objective. I don't I don't care to win. It's just, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> when I first met you, if I would have said, hey, let's knock off some weight and do a show, you probably would have looked at me and went, are you insane? Yeah. <laughs> but I've seen, yeah, but I've seen you grow yeah. because you have a growth mindset. You're always looking for more information, right? You're not sitting there going, this is all I got. Just let me deal with this. You're like, give me some more, yeah. you know? And that takes a lot of work because you can't succeed all the time. You got to get, you know, oh. when they say you got to get, you got to get comfortable with not being comfortable. Right, right, right. And I, can I always you, thought that I was a, a thousand more times than I've succeeded. <laughs> right, right. And I've always thought those were stupid comments, but then when you get out there, you're like, okay, I'll try it again tomorrow. Right. I mean, <laughs> nothing else going on. Why don't we give it a shot again? Right. Right. So, yeah, it's been a great journey so far with you. I'm looking forward to the next year with you, brother. Right, right, right. Likewise, likewise. Yeah, I just got pumped. I didn't know you were even thinking about that. So we, we can. Oh yeah, he, yeah. I've been messing with Zach a little bit. So yeah, he, yeah. He wants to. Right, cool. Well, show sweet. us what you got, brother. Nice. What What else you got, Herb? Anything before we wrap this one up? No. Again, um, just when people get into the fitness end up and they get into the fitness game. You know, Kate and I have a conversation now. Zach's getting used to this, and you're looking at somebody sitting across the table, and they got to lose sixty pounds, and you know all the other benefits they're going to get. They're going to start feeling better and, and sleeping better and traveling. They're going to change jobs because they deserve more, right? So it, they come in for one thing, but I love to see it when somebody grows. Grows to the point now where I could actually call up um, Zach and say, hey, I have a guy that needs to get in shape. Can you write him a plan for me, brother? I'm busy. Zach can do it. 
All right. So again, Kate and I get a little bit of uh, can, can can take a little bit of can, you know that hey we help do that. Yeah. But Zach, you have to execute, bro. The best laid plan in the world is just the best laid plan in the world until it's executed. That's right. on you. That's exactly. Yeah, that's on you. And Caden, I sit back and go, damn, we better get ourselves in better shape because Zach's going to catch us. <laughs> you know, I love, I, that. I love that. Well, you know where we're at, brother. Keep coming. <laughs> I'm, closer to, I'm closer to you than Kate is. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Anything else you got, Zach? Um, I mean, like, like I said, I... I appreciate what you guys have, uh, what you guys are doing. And uh, I do appreciate what you guys have uh, done for myself. And uh, yeah, man, you guys are, you're my role model. All right. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, that, awesome, brother. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the podcast, my man. So guys, um, hope that resonates with you. I think there were some, some big things in there. Um, I just want to double tap again. Uh, just the, the difference when you decide to not play the victim right and and you face your challenges that you're dealing with head on and you come out on the other end stronger i think zach's huge role model for that so um on that guys we'll see you in the next video elevate every damn day peace elevate only obligation is to tell a